Here's a look at what's coming up on today's fossil hunt. We find lots of ammonites, crack open nodules, and I've also got a piece of crocodile jaw filled with sharp teeth. I'll show you all about that later on. We also do lots of spot the fossil, where you can look at the beach with me and see if you can spot the fossils that I'm seeing. Can you spot this first fossil? Should be a pretty good video. Let's get started. I've already managed to find quite a few big nodules today and I've just, as I started filming this, spotted another ammonite. Let's have a look round, see what other fossils we can find, then we'll crack them all open. As usual, at the end of the video, I've got a very exciting marine reptile fossil to show you. I think it should be a pretty good fossil hunt today. Here we are, back at the first fossil I just spotted. First fossil of the video. I'll just stop the video there, give you a chance to see if you can spot this first fossil. It's a very windy day, as you can tell. However, it's still fun to be out looking for these fossils. Okay, this fossil is right down there. You can sort of see from a distance the outer golden pyritic whirl. There we go. Let's see if it's complete. Looks like it should be very heavy and pyritic though. Probably give this one a crack before I take it off the beach. It's a big lump and it's very difficult to prepare with the tools because of all the metal so we'll have to crack this one open okay just spotted <laughs> potentially pretty awesome ammonite fossil can you spot where this one is okay so this potentially awesome fossil is right down there you can see a bit of the edge showing already looks like it should be pretty good size if it is all there. Uh, you can see the outer world already. All right, moment of truth. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Gosh, can you believe that? It just sat right there. Now, of course, this side is a little bit worn away, but it's still very, very impressive. And the other side of the fossil, underneath this limestone, would be absolutely perfect. It's fair to say, I'm very happy with that. I've already spotted a number of really lovely fossils and there's still even more to come. After we found a few more, I'm going to go and crack them open. You'll soon see in the video that quite a few of them open really nicely. Okay, I've just spotted another, what looks to be a pretty big, impressive fossil. Can you spot where this one is? over there Let's see pretty obvious quite big whirl of an ammonite showing already look at that wow oh gosh this is a really big one you can see there's the top of it and there's a bit of the outer world so it's potentially a pretty big ammonite inside that Either that or it's two separate ammonites, but it looks like it's all the same. Very nice. I've spotted another nice ammonite here. Can you see where this one is? Don't know if I'm making these too easy, too hard, or just about right. So let me know in the comments how difficult they are. And I can make them harder or a bit easier depending on how they're going so far. This one is right down here. Look at that. It looks like this one should be pretty piratized. Wow. 
Wow. I tell you what, they don't get much better than that. And that is just perfect. Looks like a little tap of the hammer and that would just ping off to reveal a really pyritic specimen underneath. How good is that? Well, I think we did very well there. Just in that very, very short look, we actually found probably the best finds of the day. All our finds came in about five minutes of having a look. And sometimes you can easily spend quite a few hours looking and not find anything. So this is completely the opposite. We found all our best finds in pretty quick succession. Before I started filming today, I actually did come across several other bigger nodules. So I thought we'll break them open together now. And also, I actually found a few other little ammonite multi-blocks and I split a couple open off camera. And one has a really big pyritic specimen which is about to be revealed. I've not seen it yet myself, so we'll have a look at that together as well. And a few other little pieces, as well as an iridescent partial ammonite. Let's get on and have a look at these fossils. Just before we start cracking them open, we've got a few lovely clips of the sea. It was very rough in many places. In this particular place, there was a cool little cove where the sea would come in and crash up really high. You've of course got to be very careful near the sea when it's particularly rough, so I was always stood a good distance away. Right, so that's been a nice little look at the sea. Now, next thing we're going to do is get on and have a look at some of the fossils. We'll have a look at them, then I'll also be cracking open the best ones. Hope you enjoy it, some pretty exciting moments to come. Here's a look at the first fossil, and this is the partial iridescent ammonite. The ammonite itself is pretty poor quality as you can tell. It might not even be complete all the way to the centre, however the interesting part is this area of iridescence. It's very, very unusual. And here, a much bigger ammonite, almost fully exposed, and there is a crack right there where it is about to be revealed. The first fossil is this little one. It's got some really nice black calcite on it. It's really nice, very well preserved. It's got a really thick layer of pyrite over it though, so unfortunately it'd be very difficult to prepare any further. But still a really lovely little piece. Even got a little one preserved on the back of it as well. Just about make out the small imprint there. A few other little ones as well. That's the first piece. These other two pieces have quite a few partial ammonites. When I split this rock open, I really wasn't expecting it to contain this many fossils. To have this many fossils in is pretty unusual anyway. I am really, really hoping when I remove this piece of rock, we have a perfect specimen underneath. Right, well, I might as well get on with it. Okay, what do, what do we think? All right, well, so that's good. So it's revealed 
another bit of the ammonite and I think it's probably almost certainly actually completely preserved underneath so I think we've potentially got here a complete harposterous ammonite with really heavy pyrotization this is a pretty well relatively rare ammonite to find one complete is certainly very uncommon to find partial pieces is quite common I've never found one so pyrotized and almost certainly complete and if we're lucky we'll have a few other specimens preserved next to it as well I think this could be potentially a really really nice piece there we have it this ammonite revealed almost completely but we'll still need a bit of preparation work at home but the next thing we're going to do is crack open a few of the bigger nodules which I mentioned just before we looked at these ammonites well <laughs> unfortunately I had this ammonite and I thought I'll just give it a quick crack it's probably gonna be incomplete and <laughs> not preserved at all and it's sods law that it turned out to actually split open with a single tap of the hammer and revealed a pretty perfect ammonite so just goes to show you never know how these are gonna go but there we go look at that I could have bet that that would have opened much worse let's crack this one open first be completely empty let's have a look at the next one the trouble is with these they never usually break open nicely although every now and again they do split perfectly and we get a perfect ammonite out of it but it could be anything inside could be bones or you just never know nice crack through it okay another one that's empty now here is the pyritic specimen that we're going to crack open now I wouldn't be surprised at all if this doesn't open very well but it's completely unpreparable because of the amount of pyrite in it you can tell because it's really green and really heavy we'll give it a split open anyway sometimes they open quite nice This has a really good potential. Look at that golden edge that's just been revealed. I'm actually quite excited to open this one up. I'll just put that down to one side for a second because here you can see the piece that's split off it. It's really 3D, very well preserved ammonite. We could be in for a real treat <laughs> opening this up. Right, well let's just let's just go for it and see what we get oh wow <laughs> that is amazing oh wow that is so so nice I was not expecting that at all to be honest well that just goes to show you really can't never predict what's gonna be inside these rocks I've been pleasantly surprised and now we have this specimen which opens up to reveal a gorgeous pyrotized dactyloceros ammonite. Not too bad at all. That's all of our finds that we've got from the beach today. 
It's very, very windy, as you can probably tell. Now I'm going to head home, and on the way back, I will show you the marine reptile fossil, which I mentioned earlier at the start of the video. I'll see you in just a bit. Just before I get off, I did another clip showing the collection of fossils which we found today. Whilst the sea was pretty rough, and usually that would mean all the boulders and shingles being washed round and things, the sea didn't really come up very far, so a lot of the shingle wasn't even touched by the waves. I think given the fossil in conditions today, we did really, really well. If you wanted to see all of our finds together, here they are. All of our best finds anyway. I've got a few of the smaller little ones which aren't really worth showing to be honest. But I really came out today not expecting to find anything like this. To get a haul of ammonites like this on a relatively flat sea is just pretty outstanding. And I'm very very pleased that we did come out in the end. What a lovely set of fossils. Last thing to do is throw away our empty nodules into the sea. I suppose eventually they might be turned into sand in a few hundred or a few thousand years. Still to come in the video, we're going to be looking at that Jurassic crocodile jaw. And I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. Here it is, about to appear. A 180 million year old partial upper jaw from a Jurassic marine crocodile. As you can see, there are teeth all the way down both sides of this jaw. I think my dad has done an incredible job preserving all of the teeth as best as possible. There's also another smaller piece of jaw which goes with this and a little tiny piece of skull. However, it seems that this fossil was predated prior to fossilisation. The back of the skull had been bitten off and there was also no lower jaw in sight. The teeth down the side of the jaw at the bottom on the video currently are slightly preserved underneath the jaw as though they've been bent inwards. You can see at the end, the nostrils of the crocodile. It goes without saying that a find like this is very, very rare, and we were absolutely ecstatic to find this. It was one of our very, very first crocodile finds. That's the end of the video. Really hope you've enjoyed it. We did have a few lovely ammonites that we cracked open. And if you'd like some perfect ammonites, or some nearly perfect ones, which open well the majority of the time, please contact my brother Shea. His details will be on screen at the end of the video, and he can sort you out with a few ammonites to crack open yourself at home if you'd like. We of course can't guarantee that every nodule will crack open perfectly, however we specially select the best nodules that have the best chance of opening up really well. It's a heck of a lot of fun, and if you would like to have some, or an already prepared fossil, please just contact Cher. His contact details are about to come on screen just now. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.
That's awesome.